Hey guys, it's Blue and welcome back to another video. In today's video guys, I'm bringing you guys my 2019 gaming setup tour. So make sure to go ahead and drop a like on this video. I think we can go ahead and hit 200 likes. I think that's a good like goal for this type of video. But uh, yeah, anyways, if you're interested in any of the peripheral specs or anything that I do show off in my setup, make sure to go ahead and check in the description because everything will be left there. And uh, yeah, so make sure to go ahead and follow me on Twitter as well. Leave a like, like I said before, subscribe because, you know, if you haven't already, I would definitely recommend. Don't forget to put on post notifications. Now let's go ahead and show up the setup. So uh, yeah. Alrighty guys, this is the gaming setup 2019 edition. So as you can see, lots of things have changed from the last setup video because I did not have three monitors and I did not have a monitor mount and just everything is more, you know, cleaner and I guess more well organized and lots of space, which is great. So let's go ahead and start the setup by going from left to right and we'll start off right here with the desk. So with everyone wondering what desk that I do use, I'm really sorry. I really don't know what desk this is. Um, I got it from Office Max and that's pretty much all I know, but it's very sturdy, definitely um, sturdy for lots of things. There's no little bend in the desk because of my monitor stands, so it's definitely well built. So moving on to my monitors, these two monitors right here are the exact same, but not the middle one, but the two side ones are, and they are the Samsung S22E310 monitors. So I actually did have these two as my main monitors. But then I actually got an upgrade and got this monitor, the 144 hertz monitor. These two are both 60 um, hertz, but uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and show off the webcams I do have. So this is the Logitech C922 Pro Stream webcam, I do believe that's what it's called. And then this one right here is the Logitech C920, which is broken, but it still works. Um, but like again, it's still broken. So uh, yeah, this monitor, my main monitor is the Asus monitor. I'm sure everyone knows which monitor I'm talking about. I don't know the correct model name because it's just a bunch of random letters and numbers. So I cannot remember that unlike these ones, which literally have the model number right on it, just like that. So like I said, everything will be linked in the description, but uh, yeah, that's my main monitor. And then for the monitor mount, I'm really not sure what brand it is because it didn't really have a brand name on it. But uh, for everyone wondering, always get a monitor stand that actually clamps onto your desk. It will just make things a hundred times easier. Make sure you have a strong enough desk if you are gonna get one though. So uh, yeah. Anyways, right here, if anyone is interested, this is just a wireless charger, um, Samsung actually, and then this is my iPhone X, so, you know, that's pretty cool. And, uh, yeah. Anyways, moving on right here, we have, you know, basic essentials, you know, never need, never know when you'll need these. I have my hard drive in here, other stuff, extra keycaps for my keyboard, keycap pullers, and, you know, all that cool stuff. I got a coaster right there when I have a drink, um, you know, or, you know, water, anything like that. And yeah, moving on to my peripherals, peripherals, peripherals right here. Um, we have my main keyboard right here, which is recently pretty new, I would say. This is the Ampro 2 keyboard, and it is a 60% keyboard, and I absolutely love it. But this is um, the Ampro 2 with Gateron brown switches, so it's nice and silent when you're gaming and all that stuff. And if you notice, this is a brand new addition to the keyboard. This is my Chameleon keycap that I did recently get, and uh, I just think it's amazing. I got that off a of mass job, and I absolutely love it, and it's a great escape key. And uh, yeah, just absolutely love this key um, keyboard. I'm getting new keycaps soon. I just ordered some off of Amazon. And they should be coming in, um, you know, fairly shortly. Um, actually, not really. They're um, coming in February because it was from, like, Hong Kong or something. I have no idea. But, uh, yeah, moving on to my mouse pad just real quick. This is the Aki Extended Mouse Mat, which is really, really cheap and very budget-friendly. And um, definitely recommend this for anyone out there who needs a nice extended mouse mat. 
And uh, yeah, here is my mouse that I am using currently. This is the Logitech G203. And I'm planning to mod this mouse out because I think this is going to be my main mouse until maybe I try the G Pro Wireless, if I ever do, because I really do like this mouse. Um, it's, a, it's a great feel. It's a small mouse. Um, it's like 86 grams, really not for sure. But I'm planning on um, getting paracord for this to even make it lighter. And, you know, possibly hyperglides. Um, I don't know yet, but uh, that will be a work in progress. I'll probably do some videos on that. But, uh, yeah. Onto my audio, I know everyone's going to be shocked by this, but it's true. The sound for hearing gameplay and all that and listening to videos, music, and all that stuff, I use these. Yep, the $20 Apple earbuds. I know that sounds crazy, but I've, I've used them for a while now, and when I mean a while, like maybe like a year and a half or so, or like almost a year. And I'm loving them. I mean, I don't know why. I know lots of people are like, how the heck do you play, like, games that really do um, require sound and you just use these? Yep, that's true. And I have them hooked up to the HyperX um, little amp thing that does have uh, 7.1 surround sound. I don't know if their so surround sound really works, but I think it does because I can definitely uh, hear a difference when it's off and on. So I'm, I'm pretty, I'm guessing that it does actually work. And I think it could work with any other headphones. I'm really not for sure. But uh, yeah, moving on to audio, um, audio uh, part two um, for recording my voice. This is the Audio Technica AT2020 USB mic. Great, amazing mic. Definitely recommend it. It has gone up in the past couple of years, which is kind of surprising. I guess it's getting pretty popular. But it does have this wind filter on it, which is sold separately. And then it is connected to the Rode PSA-1 mic stand, which is just the best mic stand you can get uh, on the market. If you're looking for something really sturdy and that can hold a lot of weight, um, definitely just go ahead and purchase this. It is pretty expensive, but, you know, it's worth it. And um, I've had this ever since I started YouTube, so it's like lasted me like pretty much and it probably will last me my whole entire lifetime i don't plan on upgrading this soon at all so definitely worth it and uh yeah moving on back here which i know this really isn't like peripherals or anything but here is my insane g fuel collection that everyone's going to be commenting down here we go guys this is all the g fuel that i do have My shaker cups aren't here, I just feel like that they would take up too much space as well. But if you're interested in all the flavors I have, I have um, rainbow sherbet, phaseberry, uh, peach iced tea, uh, sour cherry, the G Fuel hydration, which is, eh, it's not really that good, raging gummy fish, blue ice cotton candy, black on black raspberry, strawberry shortcake, kiwi strawberry, and lemonade. That is all of the G Fuel flavors. They do have it, and um, if you're asking me what my favorite is, I would probably have to go with either kiwi strawberry or lemonade. Great flavors, definitely great flavors. And just, you know, side note, if everyone was wondering why the heck do I have a towel under here, um, that's because um, when we did get this monitor stand, it didn't have any, like, padding underneath here, so we put this, like, little, like, towel here, that way it wouldn't ruin the desk, so that's why it's there. I kind of just cover it up with this because I kind of do think it looks kind of funny like that. But with that there in front of it, it looks fine. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, moving on to, like, the grand finale right here. We have the Beast computer. I don't have two uh, PCs for people who are wondering if I do have, like, a streaming PC and all this stuff. Nope, I do not. This is perfectly fine. And it is amazing. So I'm going to go ahead, like I said, leave all the specs in the description down below. Um, to list just some of it, it has 32 gigabytes of RAM, GTX 1070 Ti, um, AMD CPU, I think it's like the 27,000, I don't even know, it's something like that, but like I said, I'll leave it linked in the description down below, and you know what, while you're here guys, if you're new, make sure to subscribe, because you know, we're almost at 18.4k, uh, uh, so that would be awesome if we could reach that soon. And uh, yeah, also make sure to leave a like, you know, if you're still um, here and haven't left a like. So um, also this is just a little bit of, you know, extra stuff that I'm going to leave in this video is what I record with, edit with, and all that stuff. 
So on my task bar here, it's going to focus on um, that instead of my finger. But anyways, we have OBS. That's my main uh, screen capture recording. I think everyone records with OBS now that nowadays. Um, Photoshop for, you know, making thumbnails, graphic designing, uh, Adobe Premiere for video editing, and then Cinema 4D for, you know, like making cool text and um, editing Minecraft rigs and all that cool stuff. And yeah, and then here's my um, desktop and everything. I do have Rain Meter, so it's so cool. I love Rain Meter because when you do play music, you can see the sound popping up. And I do have the time here, and it does say good evening. I love that. And uh, yeah, last but not least, if everyone's interested, this is the chair that I do have. And um, it's honestly the best chair. Definitely recommend it. So this is the OPC Master Edition um, gaming chair. And it is so comfy, and I recommend it to, like, literally everyone out there. It is just amazing. It can fully recline back. Um, it doesn't have a, um, uh, what's it called? A fold-out for your feet. Um, that's kind of disappointing, but that's okay. This chair is totally worth it. Definitely recommend it. It comes in a bunch of different colors, too, so if you're not, so if you know if you're kind of picky with colors and all that stuff, uh, you know, that goes great, so... Uh, yeah, anyways, I think that's about it. I really don't think there really isn't anything else to show off to you guys. Um, if you're interested about my camera or anything like that, make sure to go ahead and check out that video. There will be a card popping up right here. Also for my PC as well, I've done a video about that card popping up when I did show that off. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video though. Okay guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to go ahead and leave a like. Like I said before, if we could hit 200 likes on this video, that would be insane. So make sure to go ahead and hit that like button. Also, like I said, everything will be in the description down below. So make sure to go ahead and check out all my peripherals and, you know, all the settings and, or not settings, but, you know, specs. If you're interested in all that stuff. And anyways, that's it for today's video, guys. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment, put on my post notifications because you'll be uploaded whenever I do post a video. And that's pretty much it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.